Hi guys! So before we get started today, I want to talk to you a little bit about something that I really need to tell you guys. So, a gentleman named Chris has been requesting for a while that I start doing videos about my laptop. And my laptop and Windows 8 and stuff, some for beginner things, because him himself, he's not tech savvy, and he'd really appreciate it and it would really help him out if I were to make some videos about it, like beginner's tutorials. I would love to do that, but I'm very busy. Very, very busy. I know I'm out of school now, but I still got a lot of other stuff to do. Plus, I upload to this channel twice per week. Now, don't worry, you guys, that's not going to change. I'm still going to upload to this channel every Monday and Thursday, episode of Tech Talk with Joe Green. I know you guys you guys just want to see my, my beautiful face. and Don't worry, you'll be able to see it. Now, I'm going to make Chris and a lot of other people that want the same thing very happy. Those of you who are new might not know that I have a second channel, Windows 8 Tutorials. Link will be in the description. I have not uploaded to that in months, long, long time, many, many months. The reason is I just flat out don't have time. I barely had time to do Tech Talk with Joe Green during the school year. I did it once per week then, and I barely had any time for that. That's why I haven't uploaded to that channel. Plus, I knew there were lots of other people doing similar things. I didn't think that I would get a good enough response for it to even be worth doing. However, I've been told that in other people's experience, if you do something that you want to do, the viewers will come to you. That right. But I got thinking, what if I did do that? And if I were to kind of repurpose my second channel to not just be Windows 8 tutorials, but to be beginner tutorials, that'd be pretty good. So, I'm going to rename that channel, Beginner Tutorials. Tech Beginner Tutorials. That's the name I'm thinking right now. It might, may or may not change. Now I'm going to try to upload to that channel every Saturday. Here's the deal though. Like I said, I'm very busy with other things. If something happens to where I cannot make and upload a video by Saturday, here's what will happen. I'll either upload it within the next few days. If it doesn't happen, then I will just upload a video the following Saturday. Don't freak out on me, please, if I don't upload a video to that channel. I'm not saying anybody will, but sometimes I just can't control things. Sometimes I got other stuff to do. Sometimes I'll be working on something huge for this channel that I won't be able to. Just anything can happen that I won't be able to control. And if I do anything, I want to definitely focus on this channel because this is my main channel. This is where the people come to watch me. This is where I do everything for this channel pretty much. So I am going to kick up my second channel. I'm going to try to upload every Saturday. So there you go, Chris and everybody else who wanted the same thing. Now you got it. Here's what I'm going to do. This Saturday, so the day after tomorrow, I'm going to upload a introduction video kind of explaining the channel in a little bit more depth than I am right now. I'm not going to lie, it's because really I don't know what it's going to be right now, but in a few days I will and I'll get that video up for you guys on Saturday. Then the following Saturday, I will have my first beginner tutorial video and then the rest is history. Well, it won't be history until it actually happens, but then the rest is future. That's not a phrase. So anyway, guys, enough dilly-dallying. 3D TVs. A few years ago, they were the big thing. Everybody was talking about those. Everybody was anticipating a huge future for them. Now they're not hardly anywhere. In fact, there were barely any, there were none at CES 2014. What happened to 3D TVs? Well, I'm going to tell you guys that right now. This is 3D TVs. What happened? So... Again, a few years ago, they were all the hype. Everybody was excited about this new 3D technology. Here's the biggest problem. It's very difficult and expensive and inconvenient to produce 3D content. Mainly TV shows are the issue because they already make 3D movies. But to make a 3D TV show, these smaller companies that don't make huge mega millions for everything they make are going to need really, really expensive equipment to make this 3D content. It's just not practical. Plus, it's not really worth it since there aren't a lot of people that have these displays that can actually make these 3D things. Plus, 3D TVs are inconvenient for the consumers because of those glasses. Now, people that wear glasses, it's gonna be even, it's even worse because they have to put these 3D glasses on top of their regular glasses, making it even more uncomfortable to watch TV. And it's just not fun to have to have two pairs of glasses on 
Trust me, I wear glasses in the movie theater. If I have to watch a 3D movie, I don't like it very much. Plus, the glasses are bulky and inconvenient, so even people that don't wear glasses aren't really going to want to put those on. And again, there isn't that much 3D content, which makes it not worth it for consumers to purchase a 3D TV. It's kind of weird how that works. There's not a lot of 3D content, so consumers aren't going to buy a 3D TV. There's not a lot of 3D content because nobody's buying the 3D TVs. Weird. But yeah, the biggest thing is that 3D TV is being completely shoved under the rug because of new technology, 4K. A while ago, I did an explained series video about 4K resolution, link is in the description, but 4K is UHD, ultra high definition. It has four times as many pixels as a regular 1080p TV. That's where the future's headed. There were tons of 4K TVs at CES. In fact, that's almost all there was. There was even 4K tablets. 4K is much more practical to use. Instead of having to buy all this fancy 3D equipment, producers only have to purchase high quality 4K cameras. Hell, the Galaxy S5 and the Note 3 have 4K capabilities. They can record 4K. Phones record 4K. There's no phone that records 3D video. Plus, if you purchase a 4K TV and it's still displaying 1080p content, it's still going to look pretty nice, as opposed to if you buy a 3D TV and it's displaying 2K 2D content, it's going to look the exact same. It's not going to be a difference. You won't even know that you have a 3D TV. But you can tell that you have a 4K TV if, even if you're just watching 1080p. It's especially awesome when you watch 4K content on a 4K display. It looks really, really nice. Even 4K on a regular display, on a regular 1080p display, looks fantastic. So, users would rather have better looking content than an depth to their content. Because you don't need 3D content. You don't necessarily need ultra high definition content either, but that is nicer to have. A lot of people would rather have ultra high definition than 3D 1080p. So guys, there you go. That's what happened to 3D TVs. I hope that makes sense to you. Makes sense to me. I mean, that's kind of what I thought anyway before I did the research. Makes a lot of sense. I didn't think that 3D TVs were going to be that successful anyway, but I can definitely see that 4K is going to be super, super, super successful. I know it. In about 10 years, I'm going to say that they don't even make 1080p TVs anymore. That's my prediction on video right now. That's my prediction for the future. But anyway, guys, that's it. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to me if you feel so inclined. Also, check out my friend Alex's channel. Uh, he's the Tech Master guy here on YouTube, just like me. He's techy. He's working on getting some videos up. I'm going to get on him about that. Don't worry. I know he hasn't done it in a while. Alex, put up some videos. But anyway, guys, I will see you on Monday. But if you want to check out my second channel, link will be in the description. If you go there, you'll be seeing me on Saturday. But Monday on this channel will be a new episode of Tech Talk. I'm Joe Green. I will see you in a few days. So anyway, guys, enough dilly-dallying. What happened to 3D TV is a few days ago. What the hell? Days? A few days ago, they were popular. No, they're not. Well, Alex, put up some videos. Hi, guys. <laughs> Alex, put up some videos. Alex, put up some videos. Hi, guys. <laughs> Alex, put up some videos. Alex, put up some videos. Alex, put up some videos.